I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Mustangs. Today is November 15th. I'm Leslie. And I'm Amy, and we'll be your host for today. Robotics Club meets today at 2.45 in room 39. The grading period for quarter two re progress report ends Friday. And next, we have a PSA for cyberbullying. I'm calling about your daughter, Mia. She's been sending some hurtful things via text message. I'll be there in a second. Tardies have been added to exclusion list requirements. The exclusion list for the next field day will be based on your second quarter progress report. You must have a 2.5 or higher effort GPA and no use for citizenship on your progress reports. You must have four or fewer major referrals, be suspension free and not exclusive tardies. Here's Ms. Brizzy with the book talk. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Brizzy and I wanted to do a little book talk on a book called These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. And this book takes place in the 1920s in Shanghai, China. And basically there are two rival gangs um, that have always kind of hated each other. And within those gangs are the son and daughter of those leaders. And they actually have like a fling. But the daughter goes away to New York City and then comes back and then finds out there was a little bit of betrayal happening and so they're totally enemies again. But it's a bit of a retelling of a Romeo and Juliet story. The daughter's name is Juliet and the um, son of the other rival game, his name is Roma. And what happens is when she comes back, from New York City, there's a, kind of a bit of a mysterious monster that went to the streets and killed some people. And it happened on the turf of both of their gangs. And so they kind of secretly slowly start working together behind everyone's back and try to figure out what this monster is and um, who's involved. And then it turns out that there's a bit of a contagion um, as a part of it and so it's a really great mystery book there's some action um, some rivalry happening and a little bit of a love story and a twist at the end as well and if you like it there's one more book um, after these violent delights is these violent ends um, so it's just a two-part um, series if you are interested in that so I would highly recommend this book for anyone who's looking for a new cool fictional book all right that's it now it's time for the shout outs this shout out goes to Dana, 8th grade, referred by Anonymous. Congratulations, this shout out has been given to you for being kind. Dana is literally one of the greatest friends ever. She's so kind, funny, and caring, and goes out of her way to be nice to people. This shout out goes to Reina, 6th grade, referred by Miss Julie. Congratulations, this shout out has been given to you for being kind. Thank you for showing kindness by waiting for me and holding the door. This shout out goes to Lonnie, seventh grade, referred by Mr. Murphy. Congratulations, this shout out has been given to you for being responsible. Great job asking for help and being so on top of your studies this week. This shout out goes to Drake, seventh grade, referred by Miss Celi. Congratulations, this shout out has been given to you for being responsible. Drake helped me organize the computer cart when computers were misplaced. He wasn't the only student to notice the cart needed to be reorganized. But he was the first student to take action in fixing it. Thank you for your help, Drake. That's it today for the Mustang Morning News. I'm Leslie. And I'm Amy. Signing, Signing off. off.